Are you sure you have all your conversions set up properly within your Microsoft Ads account? Well, let's find out, because I can't tell you how many times I've gone into a Microsoft Ads account, looked at the conversion tracking, and realized that there's very little or nothing at all set up. And most of the reasons I get is, well, we don't really know how to set up the tracking within Microsoft Ads if it's not a URL-based conversion. So today I wanna to go over how we can set up event tracking goals within the platform. So even though Google Tag Manager is obviously a Google-owned product, we can still use it to help implement event-based actions on our site that are important, and we're gonna use that to really optimize our campaigns for better performance. So let's dive in and set up event tracking for Microsoft Ads. I am in a personal Microsoft Ads account just to go through some demos. So that's why we see that red bar. I have no active campaigns running, but we're just going through an event conversion setup. And this is the first video we've done with the updated Microsoft Ads interface. In the previous interface, to find the conversion section, we used to have to go to the lower left-hand corner of the screen. Now we need to go up top to this navigation bar where we see tools, and then you can find your conversion goals underneath the conversion tracking column, similar to where we can find conversions within the Google Ads interface. Now, Microsoft gives us this little introduction that we see taking up most of the page right now. The first thing every advertiser should do when setting up their Microsoft Ads account is to add the UET tag to the website they're sending users to from their ads. Now, UET is Universal Event Tag, and just because event is part of UET, it does not mean event tracking is automatically included once that tag is on your website. So let's go down and start creating our first goal. So if a destination URL goal isn't possible, like a confirmation page after a user fills out the form, event action goals are going to be the next best bet. And we can see when I chose the event conversion type, we got a little warning pop up. And this kind of goes back to what I just said just a little bit ago, is that events aren't included with your UET tag. It says right there, we need to customize the tag to get each event working. So let's move on to the next step. After I get yelled at for not naming my conversion, now we can go on to the next step. So here is where we see where we can enter the fields for the goal details. And when I see options like category, action, and label, that makes me think of Google Tag Manager immediately. So because of that, I'm gonna hop in to Google Tag Manager to show you how to set up the UET tag for specific events. This is the main workspace within my Google Tag Manager account, and we can see I already have a Microsoft UET tag set up. This is just tracking all hits on my website, and I am not going to go and edit this tag. What we need to do is go and create a new one. You have to name your tag in order to be able to save it and later on publish it. And I named my tag this specifically because I've used this examples in other event tracking setup videos that we've done in the past. So I'm gonna use that same video views event as my main conversion action that I would like to track in this example. So to begin with the tag setup, click on tag configuration. You can scroll down until you find the Bing Ads Universal Event Tracking. Or if we scroll back to the top, you can click on the little magnifying glass in the upper right hand corner, type in Bing or Microsoft, and that tag will pop up. The first thing we need to input is the UET tag ID. In order to find this, let's head back into Microsoft Ads. I'm still on the Create Conversion Goal page, but I am gonna head up to Tools and click on the UET Tag section. In the third column on the left, there we see Tag ID. So you can highlight that number, let's copy it, head back into Google Tag Manager, and paste it into that Tag ID field. Next, we're gonna look at Event Type, because by default, the event type is gonna be a page load. And for an event tracking conversion, I don't really need it to be a page view. If you're looking to track a confirmation URL that's already on the site, just create a regular destination URL goal. If we're tracking specific events, again, using Google Tag Manager and event categories, actions, and labels, we need to change this event type and select custom. Now this will allow us to look at our event categories, actions, and labels. We'll fill in these parameters in just a moment, but first I'm gonna drop down to triggering. A trigger is gonna tell Google Tag Manager when to fire this specific event. So in this Microsoft conversion action that I wanna track, I wanna count any video view on my website as a conversion. And these are embedded YouTube videos. And we already have another video going over how you can set up the video event trigger. So you can check out that video right here. And the reason this is an event action is because the user isn't going to any specific page on my website. They're watching video, so clicks on those embedded videos video elements can't be tracked with a URL. We have to track the action on that video itself. 
So if I open up the tag configuration again, I will now go back and start filling out the event parameters after I fully understand when this tag is specifically going to fire. This specific trigger also is gonna record a variety of different categories, actions, and labels within the event section within Google Analytics. That is gonna be completely different than what parameters we wanna define for conversion tracking within Microsoft. I can make these parameters whatever I want them to be. So I put video views for category, I put watch for the action, and then to close out with labels, I have YouTube embeds. Before I save this tag, I'm gonna jump back and forth between Tag Manager and Microsoft Ads and make sure that these parameters within Tag Manager match the same parameters within the conversion setup in Microsoft Ads. So I'll take video views and add that as the category within Microsoft Ads. We know that the action is watch and the label is YouTube embed. Now, even though we filled out the three parameters within Google Tag Manager, I don't have to put in every single element within the conversion setup. So let's say in the conversion setup, I didn't put action or label. That just makes it more specific. Depending on what event you're tracking within Google Tag Manager, sometimes when you're setting up multiple events within Google Tag Manager, you could have the same category name for multiple different tags, but maybe the action and labels are different. So if you wanna group all categories into one conversion action, you don't have to fill out the action or label field. Just keep that in mind when you're setting up your goal conversions that you can make them as specific or as broad as you want within the limitations of what events you're tracking. Personally, I always have the equals to option selected, but you can see you can change these parameters to also have begins with, contains, or use a regular expression. Next, we can look at selecting the goal category. So for e-com, there's certain elements for the checkout process, lead form submits, outbound link clicks. There's a few different other actions. I'm just gonna label this one other because we don't have a video views option for category. Now, depending on what your account assigns as a value for those goals, you have the option to do that. I'm gonna skip that part for now. Next, assign how you want your conversions to be counted. Do you want it to be every single time an action occurs? Or you can select unique. And in this case with video views, I'm gonna count it as unique because a person can watch a bunch of different videos. The way this trigger works, it could track a lot of different actions. I don't wanna count this as dozens of different goal conversions if it's only one person watching the video. And there's your conversion and view through conversion windows. And then the option to include this within the conversion columns. And I'm assuming if you're looking for a goal conversion setup, yes, we wanna include this. Now this part at the bottom is if you're gonna manually enter the code on your website yourself. So you don't need to do anything with this code if you're using Google Tag Manager to install the customized UET tag. So we can say this goal action and there's our video views goal we see in the tracking status it has no recent conversions why because we didn't publish this yet so let's head back into google tag manager save this tag and we can submit it soon but i want to go through another example just so i have another conversion action example within my microsoft ads account so let's create another tag i'm going to add the name for tag configuration we want to find the bang option again paste in the tag id let's change the event type and the name of this tag i had paid media pros channel link so on my personal website there is an option for people to click on a specific element that's going to go to our main youtube channel page i'm going to include the parameters to be whatever i want it to be before i add the trigger i'm going to go back into microsoft ads and start creating this conversion action let's get another goal we're doing another event yes i know we need to customize it so let's go to next so let's go through the thought process again if i do have a bunch of different events i am tracking and let's say several of them are outbound link clicks the only click i want to track for this goal is if they go to my youtube channel so i don't really need to add the category and action i'm fine just adding the label because this outbound click actions label is going to be unique just to this action. So now I'm telling Microsoft Ads only track this conversion if a label fires through of Paid Media Pro's channel page. If I add the category and action, it's still going to have the same results because the label is really the unique part. This time, I actually do have a goal category that makes sense, and that's outbound clicks, skipping all the other stuff, and then I could save this conversion action. So now I know that one is ready, but now I need to finish this tag within Tag Manager. The trigger, as we see right here, is only going to fire if people click on the URL of our YouTube channel link. Pretty straightforward. And I will now save this tag. Now before I publish everything, let's head over into preview mode where we'll be able to go to my website and see if these events are set up properly. So for the sake of these videos, I added this clickable element to the page. If I click on this link and it's gonna open into a new tab, so you're not gonna be able to see that tab, there's another Microsoft tag that popped up in my summary. So this one right here is just my main UET tag. I'm just tracking page visits if I wanna do any remarketing on my website, so that's completely different. But this Paid Media Pros channel link did not fire until I clicked the Paid Media Pros link. 
And then over the left, we see the LinkedIn one. I use the same examples for LinkedIn. So if you're ever interested in doing event tracking for LinkedIn, it's also possible for that channel too. And you can catch that video right here. All right, so this one's working. Let's go to the second page where I can watch some YouTube videos and see if that Microsoft conversion action is working. I already picked a video. This one is of Michelle and I doing our CXL course webinar. But there's a lot more elements that we're firing on this page. And there it is. The Microsoft Video Views goal has been fired and it's been fired a couple times. That's because this trigger fires any interaction. If I played it, if I paused it, if the user watches a certain percentage of the video, there's a few milestones there set up. So that's gonna fire each time. See if I jump around, we'll see the number of times fired change. See, now it's up to three times. Now I know that these tags are working. If for whatever reason, the events aren't firing, I can go back out of preview mode, edit my tags, potentially edit my triggers, and then go back into preview until I know this tag and trigger is working. But everything looked good on both of the pages. So let's head back into Tag Manager, leave preview mode, and now we can submit our tags. I always like to name the version when I submit just so I know which tags or triggers were implemented or updated at which specific date, just in case anything happens and we're published. Heading back into Microsoft Ads one more time. I'm sorry for all the jumping back and forth. And now we can look to see the tracking status for these conversions. Now I use my personal website, super old, does not get a lot of visitors at all. So it's gonna take a while for some of these elements to click through and show me that it is working. But there is a way that you can test some of these goal actions. If you click on the light bulb next to the goal name, Microsoft will ask if you want to test this conversion action. This way you don't have to sit and refresh and wait to see if it's actually verifying in the status. We can verify it now and then have the comfort knowing that it's working and we'll eventually see conversions come through if users take those actions. So let's test it out. And in order to do that, you need to have the UET tag extension added to your browser. And I already have that. I'm using Google Chrome. Heading back to my site, hey, Michelle's talking. Just what we all want to hear, right? So now we're looking at events. And I'm seeing custom events have been fired from this UET tag. We see YouTube embeds right there. There's YouTube embeds, YouTube embeds. So this event has been firing a few times. So now I know that this goal is working. Now is just one of the goal actions. You can do that for every event conversion that you create, no matter whether you're installing that conversion action via Google Tag Manager, or if you're manually updating your UET tag and installing it within the base code of your website. So I just gave two examples. There are many ways that we have used event tracking goals. Sometimes we work with clients who, for whatever reason, just cannot get a confirmation URL attached to a specific form. I see that most commonly with like newsletter signups. So if you know you want to track newsletter signups, but we can't use a confirmation URL, create a custom event for it. There are other actions like mobile click to calls, chat interactions, a lot of different events that we can track. And just like how we can do it with other channels, we can do event tracking with Microsoft ads, figure out all the events that are important to you and create them as their own separate goals for your Microsoft ads campaigns. The more valuable actions that you add to your account that actually are going to make an impact will give you more data that you need to make the proper optimization decisions. Thanks for watching our video. If you found it useful, give us a thumbs up below. We release a new video at least once a week. So if you want to see more from the paid media pros channel, be sure to subscribe.